So y'all, a definite highlight of our homeschool in April was our road trip, field trip to Williamsburg, Virginia to visit the American Revolution Museum at Yorktown. As the boys recently finished up their units on the Revolutionary War in their Oak Meadow history curriculums. Here they were able to learn about and ask questions about the different diseases and medicines to treat those diseases and tools that the doctors use to treat the soldiers. They were also able to speak with the cook about the different rations and foods that the soldiers ate, as well as these little kitchens that they dug out and their tents, six men to a tent. We learned a lot as we walked through the museum Reinforcing a lot of what we had learned, but of course, introducing us to things that we had not come across yet. We also visited the Jamestown settlement. We went on the day of the eclipse and they had a little event for that as well. So that added to the fun of the day. Now what I could say I appreciate about the museums that we've visited recently, last year we went to Colonial William, Williamsburg, um, is the attention that is given to the life stories of natives and Africans during the time as well as the English. I did not think that we would learn as much. I was hoping that we would, and I was glad that we did learn as much as we did about, again, the natives and Africans during that time. I was also happy to be able to keep up with my kiddos this time. I had surgery back in February to remove my thyroid. So most of March was me healing and healing my body, healing my throat. You might be able to tell that um, she's still healing, but I'm doing so much better. Here was the boys' favorite demonstration, seeing the muskets. We watched it three times here. As if they haven't seen it before, but I get it. It's pretty cool. The boats were also pretty cool to see. They were excited to go below deck. You know, that's one thing to read about ships and read about cannons, but another thing to see them. Earlier uh, in a clip, I shared Aiden on the volunteer squad where he got to uh, pretend to add gunpowder to a cannon. So. We had a lot of fun with the guns and cannons while we were exploring the museums. What I also liked is that we had the museum mostly to ourselves, so we were able to stop and ask a lot of questions and everyone was really receptive and patient with all my boys' questions and eager to answer them in detail, so that was awesome. So I would highly encourage you to check out your local museums or if you're willing to drive just a little bit, <laughs> um, check out museums to help with your history learning. Now, while we were in Virginia, we schooled in the morning and we hung out at the resort at night. In the afternoons, we hit the mu uh, museums and hit some other spots like bookstores. So we went into Second and Charles I went in there with a list, but we did pick up a few other things because the prices are just great. If you have one near you and you haven't checked it out, I would definitely encourage you to do that as well. Um, but only get what you need, right? <laughs> now, back in February, Oak Meadow had a sale on their curriculum, but I just grabbed out, uh, I just picked up their main curriculum books, but not the readers. But I was able to get most of them at Second and Charles, which was a win. So I picked up Before the Ever After, The Giver, Baseball in April and Other Stories, Echo, and A Wrinkle in Time. And these are all readers that go with the eighth grade curriculum for Oak Meadows English. Again, great prices. So I'm glad I waited and just uh, decided to get them later. I also grabbed Miracle's Boys, Freedom's Way from Slavery to Liberty, 
Midnight Without a Moon. And Around the World in 80 Days. This is an illustrated version. So here's just a quick peek inside. My son, my oldest son, had been wanting to read the Maze Runner series, so we were able to pick up the first four. So he added these to his shelves. And then my fifth grader, who also edited this video again, <laughs> thanks Cam, um, picked up The Outlaws Scarlet and Brown. And this book three or journal three, they have the first two volumes from Gravity Falls. It's a little cartoon on Disney Channel that the kids like. It's about some siblings, um, but it's a fun journal. Now, another highlight of our April was witnessing the growth in our garden. Our tiny plants transform before our eyes and it's just really cool to see, you know. Learned a little bit about botany and patience. This month, I also finally set up and introduced our writing curriculum. Back in, I don't even know, last semester, I shared that I was looking for a writing curriculum and you all gave some great suggestions, so thank you. I decided to go back with Write Shop since we had used some of their younger levels and it just worked for us. So I thought we'd try one and two, which is for middle school and high school. I'm just going ahead and using it with my fifth grader. He's about to be in sixth grade, you know, in the fall. So I figured he could handle it. And we're just going at our own pace and it's working fine because they're still doing their writing assignments from Oak Meadow. I just wanted something with a little bit more instruction or direct instruction than Oak Meadow is offering right now. But I see that's going to change in eighth grade. Now, what I like so much about Right Shop is that it's really structured and it builds incrementally. It's engaging and again, it supports me as the instructor. And this has been fun to do with the three of us since most of our homeschool right now is me facilitating and helping them with their independent work. So this is like a fun writing workshop for us. So that was a peek inside of the teacher's manual and here's a peek inside of the student workbooks. So I just have one for each of my guys and again, super structured. Now, as I am flipping through lessons, you know, looking ahead a little bit, I try to remember to use resources that I already have on my shelves to supplement or enhance a lesson that we're doing with Oak Meadow. I have been guilty of just, you know, looking for a new resource instead of using what I already have. So I've already started adding to the basket and here I'm just pulling a few more books that I thought of um, that will uh, work with our Oak Meadow as we move into learning about uh, Westward Expansion. And they're both kind of hitting on that right now. Cameron is doing US history and Aiden is doing world history, uh, but they're both kind of lining up on that. So I am pulling these for, uh, for them. Now, when I'm planning for a new month, before I create my outline or my plans, which will change, I remind myself to pause and take time to reflect, to celebrate the wins and the milestones, you know, to think about lessons learned. If there's anything that I need to change moving forward, or if I don't need to change anything and let it be and just keep riding, you know, out what we're doing. Um, I do that and I get excited about what I'm going to be facilitating, what we're going to be introducing and teaching in the next month. 
Well, thank you guys for watching our April update. I know it's been a while since I've shared an update, so I appreciate you watching. If you have any comments you want to share with me, please leave them in the comment section below and I will chat with you soon. Like, subscribe, and have a marvelous May.